tabs or spaces, the age-old debate that will likely never be settled. Fortunately, at the end of the day, consistent formatting is more valuable than the rules we follow because consistency significantly improves readability and maintainability. But it's not just tabs or spaces. There's a whole host of rules, including spacing, line breaks, and naming conventions that need to be consistently applied. These rules often vary between projects and environments, and that's okay. Sometimes we're maintaining old code with legacy rules. Other times, we're working on an open source project with different rules. Expecting everyone to remember and manually enforce the rules for even a single project is a recipe for disaster. Instead, we can leverage tools to help us focus on what the code does and not whether we're using tabs or spaces. I'd like to share with you a set of steps to adopt consistency. Step one is having everyone agree on a set of rules. Don't obsess over the nuances. You might be surprised how little you care when you have a tool to enforce the rules. Leverage standard conventions from others as a baseline and ask why before making changes. Humans are good at being creative, but not so much at consistently remembering and applying even a small set of rules. Step two is finding a tool to help. When I'm doing .NET development, I lean on ReSharper to keep things consistent. I have some code here that's in a pretty sad state. To clean this up, we can configure ReSharper with the rules everyone has agreed upon. Things like naming conventions, spacing, braces, and line breaks to name a few. We can easily tweak ReSharper's defaults. Say we want private fields to start with M underscore instead of just an underscore. And say we want to keep at most one blank line in code instead of the default of two. And notice down here at the bottom, ReSharper is even showing us what this will look like as we tweak the setting. That's really helpful. With these rules in place, one thing we can do is use ReSharper's code cleanup and it'll put everything into a consistent state. Notice the two blank lines are consolidated down to one now, and it applied all of the default rules to make this code much more legible. ReSharper also warns us that the name of the private field, underscore number, doesn't match our new naming conventions. Okay, so everyone could configure the rules individually, but that's error prone, and new team members won't even know they need to do this. Instead, step three is to share the rules through the same version control mechanism we share our code. For demonstration purposes, I have a second clone of the project open here. I reset the local settings we just added so we can pretend this is another developer's machine. When we clean up the code, ReSharper doesn't know about the consecutive blank line rule. It leaves two blank lines, which is the default, and it doesn't know about our new naming convention. All we have to do to share the rules is tell ReSharper to save them with our code and associate them with this solution or this particular project. Let's go back to our original copy and set up the same rules to be shared with everyone. Let's add the M underscore naming convention and one blank line in code at most. And then we can use the save to the team shared solution settings. To understand what just happened, Here's the directory storing the code. ReSharper created a dot settings file with the rules we want to share. If we check this in and then pull this change into the clone of the project, then when we perform the code cleanup in the clone, it'll apply the consecutive blank lines rule to collapse the two blank lines down to one. And it now recognizes that the underscore number variable breaks our naming convention. That's amazing. Now everyone on the team can be on the same page. To consistently apply the rules, everyone still has to use ReSharper and Visual Studio. Sometimes we make a change outside this environment. Sometimes new team members don't have ReSharper yet. Step four is to provide a safety net. If we're using a tool like Team City as a part of our continuous integration practice, we can have Team City double check things. And the best part, the functionality to do this is available out of the box. All we have to do is add a .NET inspections build step. We can point it at the .settings file we shared via version control. 
And then we can have it check the rules every single time someone checks in new code. Let's run our rules now. Since we haven't committed any changes to the actual code, we should see some violations. As I review the results of the inspections in Team City, I can find the same notice about our violated naming convention. If we hop back over to our code and we fix the naming violation, notice that ReSharper will even do this for us, and then we check in the name change and the cleaned up code, and then let Team City check things again and it no longer finds as many violations. As more and more of these violations pile up, we can even use Team City to notify us and stop our delivery process, thus helping us pay down the debt when things get out of hand. At the end of the day, consistency is king. We can use these simple steps to ensure we're consistently developing readable and maintainable code.